What is going on guys? It's Mr. Very here and we're doing the final part, part four of the Grindfest uh, hellhole. Garoma hellhole, sorry. So yeah, that should be interesting. Um, only got a couple SDs left. Uh, 178, so this part should be relatively short. But We'll see if we can have fun still. I don't know how many icicles I have left, though. Oh, only 61, so that's really not going to do much for us. But, yeah. So, I know this part took a little more time. Um, I kind of took a, a very, very short break, if you would. Uh, I just haven't been on in the past couple days. Things have been kind of crazy. Um... And right now in New York, I don't even know if I should really be hunting because we just got uh, like six inches of snow already and we're forecasted for more, forecasted for another four to eight from what I hear. So that's kind of crazy. And you can see when I logged in, I killed the first Dragon Lord. Uh, the second one obviously didn't decide to come along because last time when we were playing I logged off right here and I haven't been on this character since. I've gotten on um, a little bit just to get my characters training and whatnot and wow I've got no VIPs on. Jesus. No friends. Plus friends. Uh, so we should be able to get like at least another 10 demons in with the amount of SDs we have so hopefully one of them is harboring something really nice for us like a mastermind shield or you know at the very least uh, golden legs or a couple giant swords or something um, otherwise this hunt is just not going to be uh, quite the success that I had hoped it to be in comparison to the last girl my hellhole on this channel and I just posted on my uh, guild's Facebook wall today that I would like to get a decent team together for a nice team hunt at either one of at you know maybe a few different POI areas or at some of the Inquisition spots that I haven't already covered on this channel. And I already got one volunteer, which is good because I just posted a little bit ago. So, yeah, we will certainly see um, how that goes. And hopefully it goes well. Hopefully people are uh, interested and we get some more volunteers. Um, I told them that I'd be making a video, so um, hopefully that's appealing to people. Some people like the limelight, others don't. Or shouldn't say limelight because that implies that it's negative so at least or at least neutral I, I think pretty sure any English speakers wanna reinforce me on that or tell me I'm wrong one or the other <laughs> but either way so we're here at demons you know ripping it up and ooh good thing I checked I gotta get another life ring on here as I'm mid-demon fight, of course. And the current uh, bronze neck necklace amulet. Amulet. Necklaces are the ones that uh, you can never get. Or that are super rare, anyway. Um, that's got enough charges to last for the rest of this video. I know that. When I checked when I got on, it had like 121. So I'm curious to see... If we will have less than 3,000 demons less when this finishes up, I'm hoping so. Wow. Look at all the extra creatures down here. That's Honestly, it's kind of nice because then I can just avalanche and kill all of them and get some extra experience and deal damage to the demon at the same time. So, hey, fine by me. Throw in some fodder for the cannon. No, I'm down. And I showed an old friend from Amera, Josh, Half Moon Striker. Um, he's one of my oldest friends in Tibia. And still a friend on Facebook and stuff, and we talk occasionally. Um, I actually met his sister and dated her a very, very long time ago. But, uh, 
Yeah, he's a very, very cool guy, and I showed him the old Amera screenshots because his name appears in a couple of them, and told him that, you know, if he's interested in playing or, you know, he's not busy, he should definitely give it a shot, and that I would hook him up and stuff, so he's supposed to be hopping on here relatively soon and shooting me a message. How many SDs do I have left? I didn't even see. Okay, 123. So, we're almost to the 100 mark already. So this is definitely going to be a relatively short video. Which, eh, eh. It's not really the worst thing. Uh, I, I never... See, when I do grind fest at the Fury Dungeon, all four parts, or if it's only like a two-parter, they're all done at the same time. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because it's fun and I get lots of loot, no matter what, even even when I get shitty loot, quote unquote shitty loot there, it's still good. And the experience, even when I don't, I make better experience there without a bonus than I do here with one. So that's bad. That's terrible. Um, let's see what my exp per hour is right now yeah see 257,000 oh my god Ugh. I know I just logged in but Jesus that's so miserable so at least one of the dragon lords is gonna be back and there he is hey buddy so we'll pot up and take him on out and one more grand vis should do it yep and it does no loot from the Dragon Lords, like I said, can't be surprised with that. They're really not the giving type, uh, unless you're super lucky. Which, I've actually looted, like, a couple Dragon Scale Mails from them in the past. I don't even know how long, but it's been more recent than it should be to loot a couple Dragon Scale Mails. They're usually quite greedy, with those especially. I mean... Royal Helmets, maybe. They have like a, a little bit of a higher chance with them, but DSM, no. Your chances are very low. It's a very unlikely thing. So we're almost out of the triple digits uh, with SDs here. But hoping we can lose something. Still haven't seen anything yet, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get it. Got to keep that faith, you know. Oh, two assassin stars. Woohoo. Well, at least we got this mana potion that we can use while we wait to skin this thing. And that'll give the other demon over here a little bit more time to spawn. Oh, look, the dragon lord's here, so I guess we can kill him and ensure that that demon has spawned. But it's looking pretty cake uh, we'll see if yep and he is indeed here good deal so I was at 96 SDs at the start of this I'm curious to see exactly how many it takes with this set on because I haven't been counting and of course it does vary a little bit you know with um, how good of hits am I getting with my wand and well that doesn't matter so much as the SD hits really matter but Right there is my 10th SD, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 14, and then an icicle, and uh, so it takes me close to 15 SDs still, uh, and there's Josh. So, got a couple, oh boy, a couple SDs left, and we grab the demon down here. Ooh, he just got a nasty hit off, and we use an avalanche just to take out what we're dealing with. And at 15 SDs, that's really only going to give me like six more demons or so. Um, that's going to be tough. I'm going to alternate between SDs and Icicles on these here just to 
maybe squeeze another one or two out, but we'll see. On this one, since I'm close range, though, I might as well just SD him down. But yeah, look at that pitiful, look at those pit pitiful physical hits. And then he gets a 400, because I was picking on him. He got all butthurt and had to prove his worth. Oh boy, a platinum coin and an assassin star. We haven't even gotten a dust yet this time around. Oh boy, this is why I hate demons, because after seeing such better hunting spots, they inevitably bring out the inner whiner in me. Uh, hey, are you, yeah, he's got to be back. I was going to say, if that one's back, he's certainly back. All right, well, since we just got this single one here, or and the DS, well, we can get a nice E-Wave off anyway. And I don't mind doing that. I know it's really not that great on damage, but I can still hit at least a solid 300. And uh, I've got more manas than I do SDs, so I don't mind doing that at all. Still saves my SDs a little bit, saves those icicles, and might make this video a little bit longer for you guys. So part four isn't tiny as hell compared to the other parts. Stretch it for what I can for you. And looking pretty good here. If we're gonna, I got, I don't know how many avalanches I have left. Oh boy, a double axe. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, just showing him how great my loot is here. And by great, I mean terrible. So down to 56 SDs. Not going to get too many more with that. And we're going to alternate between icicles and SDs here. Or just a couple icicles here, there, and then a couple SDs. You know, switch it up. Keep it frilly. And it looks like that Dragon Lord may have seen me because it's moving around a lot and uh, I can see its text. And I know that they yell so you can see their text from a ways away, but still. I've had this demon see me just from creeping where I just stood, where the fire elemental died. And that surprised me, but... Oh, I saw a fire, and I was like, at the very least, be a fire axe. Nope, fire mushrooms. But I think we're almost up to ten dusts. Oh, seven. Jesus. Why did you have to get my hopes up only to dash them? All right. And this demon's back already, so there's must be a decent amount of people on compared to what I had originally thought, but... And I was hoping to drop his fire elemental as well as the demon skeleton with that final avalanche. But it doesn't look like that ended up happening, which is fine. And I was hoping to also get him to sidestep. <laughs> Alright, we have 45 SDs left, so that's not many demons. So, And uh, uh, maybe I'll go and kill the hellhounds if I don't have any luck with demons, because screw it, right? I mean, the hellhounds might actually be a little nicer in that aspect. Uh, I know they drop spike swords like crazy, and they drop night axes pretty often too, so hey, even an extra 2k at this point, I'll take whatever. Just whatever you have to offer. I'm not going to be picky because it's better than nothing. Okay, thank you. A giant sword. Alrighty, so that just picked up loot a little bit. And maybe this Dragon Lord will help us out with that too. I don't know. He knows. He knows what he's going to do. His loot's already predetermined. Uh, so I'm excited for this, the, the fact that 
I know that people are interested in doing seals and stuff because that'll be a good time and that'll make for a really nice video and a lot of you guys I know you want to see some intense spots and uh, some really cool stuff so whenever I can bring that to you I am more than happy to oblige because you know I like those spots a bunch too um, it's much more fun than me going to the same spots I hunt all the time by myself and you know doing the same routine thing and I get to see a new spot and bring different equipment which of course that means I carry a little bit less supplies but when you have a couple people going usually you can get the uh, pal or night to take some supplies because you know inevitably they're gonna have at least a little bit of cap and then I get to test my new equipment or different equipment in a new area I should say and see what works and see what doesn't and we at least get a black pearl So, oh, grats to Josh, he just got level 2. And, oh, I didn't even skin this one. I was so happy about the giant sword. Nice, we are well over uh, the three. We've broken 3,000, so that's cool. Um, I can actually get a little over two and a half. So that's cool. And we're down to 24 SDs. God. So after I finish this demon, I'm probably just going to pop back up, take out the other one, and then uh, get out of there. Ooh. He really hurt me there. I should have Vita'd not Grand, but... Oh, nice. We get a couple extra mana potions at the very least, and we'll wait to skin him and give the demon upstairs a little bit more time. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a fun fact for you guys. Adrenus was level 90 when tasks were introduced. Oh, there's a dragon lord here so we'll take him out um and get a nice little explosion in there oh look at that that looked nice i love how hard explosions hit most things demons not so much but most things yeah and the demon isn't back yet so it looks like our last kill here might just be a uh, well, this one isn't going to be back if that one's not back. Okay, we'll check once more, and if it's not back, I'm just going to drop the Hellhound. Come on, buddy. Alright, looks like you really don't want to be killed, so yeah, you can live. Alright, let's take out a Hellhound. And call it game. Alright, hey, buddy. Ooh. SD. Harsh SD. God, they made this thing really easy to run, and I'm using way less SDs on a Hellhound than I do on a Demon, it would appear, which is kind of crazy, or actually, eh, close to the same, now looking at it. But yeah, that Hellhound, look at that loot, four black pearls? I mean, even on a non-rare, I'll take that. Thank you. Jeez. I wish demons could uh, learn something from your generous generosity. But this looks like it's actually going to end up being like a 20-minute video. Maybe even uh, a little bit longer. 
And this last demon is going to be painful to kill uh, because we're down to the icicles and avalanches and only a couple SDs. So let's hope he brings in something nice. And we just got another reason to avalanche. So that'll be decent enough. Um, you know. That saves some SDs and some icicles. And, you know, when you're killing two things at once, it makes it go by a little bit quicker, at least in my opinion. There we go. So, he's pretty low. And we use the last SD on him. And I think with this one, that'll put us to 3,691, maybe even a, maybe even a little higher. Uh... And, of course, we get nothing. Alright, so... That's the end of this. Um, we're going to do a check on the amount. Yep, 3,690 demons killed. And... We get a demon shield, a giant sword, four fire axes, 60 platinum coins, seven demon dust, a demon horn, ugh, 24 fire mushrooms, six small emeralds, a talon, 13 assassin stars, seven black pearls, uh, six, six small sapphires, six small pitchforks, and 24 ultimate health potions. And I know I didn't name everything, I just named the things that were worth the most, but thank you for watching part 4, guys. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please remember to leave a like on this video, uh, comment with any feedback, or if you just want to say hey, say hey. And if you haven't already and you enjoy the content I produce, then subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching, guys.